Hi everyone, Alison Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to look at long irons or the lower end of your set if you're like in an iron capacity. Now a lot of golfers that come to me and a lot of people that post questions will struggle with long irons. They get scared of them. They think they can't hit them very well. Now a longer iron is a longer club and it has less loft so it makes things more challenging for sure and it also means your dispersion from the target is going to be greater because the ball is traveling further. Also with the face angle changing, slightly open or slightly closed, you will get a bigger disparity from the target than you would do with a shorter iron. There's less backspin on the ball, so there's more side spin, if you like, if you look at it that way. So let's go through the best ways of playing a long iron. And if you are a new viewer, please consider following and subscribing. I post videos every week on a variety of subjects, all designed to help you in your golf. Keep watching to learn about these long irons. So I've got a long iron here into, into a par five second shot. Um, I'm gonna talk you through the conceptual way of hitting the long iron better, and also some practice swing guys you can do to ensure that you get best contact, best practice basically, so you can be the most successful you can be on the golf course. Essentially, when people get a longer club in their hand, they get the tendencies to try and sweep the ball, to raise it in the air. What that causes is them to work backwards with too much right side bend. The club ascends too much and we either get thinny or toppy contacts or we hit the ground before the golf ball. Now, ideally we want the opposite. The best players in the world compress the ball with the longer clubs. Their speed increases with the longer clubs naturally. They hit down on the ball about three to four degrees with a three to four iron. So we're looking really to make sure we generate speed to generate a forward lean in the shaft to be able to produce a ball flight that would travel the distance we want. Now, if we struggle with speed and we get forward lean and hit down on the golf ball, there's a tendency that we might hit the ball a little bit low. Now, if the ball comes off a little bit low, when it hits the green, it's likely to scoot on through. So if that's the case and that's your game, then I would recommend carrying more rescue clubs or even five and seven woods, because what we'll get from this is a better land angle into the green, the ball will stop quicker. Even with those clubs, we're still looking to hit down on the golf ball. We're still looking to produce that shaft lean every shot. I think the key thing is really, when I see a lot of long iron players on the golf course, they try and steer them more. So they swing slower or within themselves and they try and sweep. So let's go through what we want you to do. So I've got a four iron here in my hand. So the ball position for a four iron for me is gonna be between the center and the left heel. Kind of one third forward in the stance, if you look at it that way. So what I'd want you to do is if you go together with your feet together at the start, move your right foot to pretty much just under shoulder width and your left foot a couple of inches. That should leave you with a ball position that is kind of kind of left peck area of, the, of, of your body. So certainly forward. Now the hands are gonna be opposite the inside of the left thigh. So there's a slight forward lean at the shaft at the start of the setup. Now with a seven nine, that's forward lean would be increased because the ball position further back. With a driver, it would be decreased because the ball position further forward. These things are all to try and help change the loft we present at impact, the dynamic loft. So effectively, we are trying to encourage more dynamic loft, but still hitting down the ball and still having forward lean. I want you then, when you go and play it, to really feel that we're trying to hit the ball and turf. We're hitting the ground after the golf ball. And practice swing wise, we're really looking to make an indent or brushing of the grass post ball. So target side of the ball. So if I just go ahead and do that now and make a practice swing, I'm really looking to feel that turf contact as far and as late as I possibly can towards target. The later the better, to be honest with you. Especially if I struggle to take a divot anyway. So the more we can take deeper divots and later divots, the more that's gonna help naturally change our swing. Now, conceptually, when we go and play the shot, I want you to really focus on the front edge of the golf ball to make sure we feel that the club is traveling down and forward rather than the back edge of the golf ball. So the front edge of the golf ball is gonna lead us to try and get our low point later and get that ball turf contact. So we're really trying to crush that ball really with the longer irons, hit it hard. Hit it hard, hit it later, hit the ball and turf. In terms of swing planes and swing mechanics and stuff like that, there is nothing that I would want to see you do differently with this club than I would do with a mid or short iron. 
Now, a short iron, we might well swing a little bit short and be a bit more punchy and have a bit more weight in the lead foot. We don't need to do that with this club. We're gonna go very even with our weight. So we're gonna play a natural swing, but really try and focus on the process and routine of hitting that ball on turf. So let's go ahead and hit a shot with that process. So make a practice swing, where I really feel I'm getting more wide feel left side bend, more ball on turf. Clean that face off, because it's got a bit dirty. Aim myself up at the target. and try and make that ball turf contact. So I brushed the grass there rather than the huge divot, pulled it ever so slightly left, that one wasn't perfect, but certainly wasn't a disastrous shot. Again, I'm hitting this shot almost 200 yards, so the dispersion on it is gonna be around about 18 yards from the target as to match in with a tall player. So there you have it. My take on trying to hit the long lines, be more confident, hit the ball harder, don't nurse the ball, Take ball on turf, feel that more left side bend. If you can, any practice swings to get that ball on turf, then go ahead and hit the ball, looking at the front of the ball with confidence and real <sighs> trust. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click like and share the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Hit my logo down this bottom corner. And lastly, post any questions or comments or requests for videos. I welcome them. And I look forward to seeing you again here soon.